Hi, and welcome everyone. My name is Rue McKenrick, and I am the founder of the American Perimeter Trail project. The American Perimeter Trail is a route that goes basically in a loop around the continental United States, and it uses existing trails and uh, new routes that I'm creating to try to make this um, trail that roughly follows the perimeter of the continental United States. And I've been out here backpacking since July 15th. I left my home in Bend, Oregon. I traveled south down through California, then kind of turned around back north up to Nevada, uh, cut across the southern part of Nevada over to, um, through Death Valley and then through Nevada over the Hoover Dam to the Grand Canyon. And then I went south on the Arizona Trail and cut over from there along the border into New Mexico onto the Connell Divide Trail. And then across Texas and across Louisiana and then across the Mississippi to Mississippi and into Alabama and the Southern Appalachians and then started following the Southern Appalachian um, through some existing trails and some routes I've been creating my own. I just want to say I'm not on the Appalachian Trail and I am not using any trail closures and I promise that I won't. Uh, in fact, with the event of COVID-19, it became necessary to come up with a whole kind of philosophy and methodology around backpacking, which I call social isolating. And this isn't anything new. It relies on traditional backpacking skills. And essentially, it has two main goals. One, to create a solitary backpacking and backcountry experience, and two, to limit all human contact. So um, I've split this up into two different skill sets, and we'll post this online so you can see it. But essentially it's divided into soft or interpersonal skills, and then hard or back, um, technical backcountry skill sets. Uh, the interpersonal are things like being able to go long periods of time uh, by oneself, um, being able to communicate effectively with communities that are maybe non-trail communities, and it has a lot to do with the relationship uh, with you and yourself and that relationship with nature. And then the hard skills of the technical backcountry skills are just like the ability to read, map, encompass, to navigate off trail, um, to find uh, water sources in the event a filter would break, be able to make repairs on your gear, etc. Like I said, we'll probably post this so you can look it over. But social isolation on a weekly basis for me essentially looks like this. I haven't been around backpackers um, or hikers since California. so. On my normal week, I wouldn't even say my normal week, let's just say every week, I don't see anyone out here. And the weather has been pretty horrible, so um, that's why I'm taking a moment here to film why I have some some sunshine. And the during the week, I don't really see anyone. I use trails where I know I'm not going to see anyone, and I also check in with state police or local trail clubs to make sure that there aren't any closures and that I'm doing everything ethically. And then once a week, I go to the post office, and that's where I get all of my resupply. And I usually typically just clean up, put on protective gear, go in and get my box. And as long as I don't have to send anything out, then I'll take my box and leave, and I'll pack it you know, I'll pack it all into my pack somewhere else. And this is really nice because it uh, gives me kind of a footprint in which I'm having very little human contact. So that's for my safety and for other safety. And it also gives me a very small uh, uh, postal footprint, I would say, just knowing that if I were at home, I'd probably be receiving mail every day and Post workers are handling all that and they're just my heroes right now. And also like if I was um, working for a company or something and we're shipping product out, you know, every day, I would be asking UPS or FedEx or someone to come. And these people who are, um, like I said, they're my heroes right now because they've been supplying me and 
the way that I return that favor is by trying to just go once a week, which means a large resupply for me. I came up through Alabama and through Georgia and then Tennessee, and I think I'm in Virginia right here, and then right back there, that's Kentucky. And I'm just gonna continue far north as I can. Uh, like I said, using trails that are open and also vacant that just aren't used. And then also bushwhacking and cross country and finding my own routes as well. And then um, I'll have to make some decisions when I get up to the Mid-Atlantic and to New England as to when to decide to turn west I don't know what's going to happen and as far as like COVID-19, I've had to change my route all the time. So I'll just continue to do that as I head north and when it no longer becomes um, safe for me or safe for others or ethical for me to travel in a certain direction, then I'll change direction and find another route. Uh, I will continue to post. and. I'm going to give you some technical de demonstrations as we go on and also just catch you up on what it looks like out here on the APT and what my experience is. See you soon. Peace, my friends.